To run any Android app or game on a PC, you need a good Android OS. However, the problem is that not every Android OS runs smoothly on every PC. Some get stuck during loading, while others encounter errors like kernel not found. This leaves people confused about which OS to try and which to avoid. Since I've tried more than 20 operating systems, I can easily tell you which one is the best. That's why, in today's video, I'll provide you with the top 14 Android OS that I've personally used, along with sharing my experience. I've divided these Android OS based on their features and system requirements. The last OS is my personal favorite, so don't miss out on it. So let's start the video. Let's roll. So far, all the Android OS I've tried, such as Prime OS Remix OS, were based on this project. Android x86 is an open source project launched in 2017 with its last version released in 2019, based on Android 9. After this last release, we haven't seen any new updates. I used this OS for almost a year, and I found it quite good, with the only drawback being key mapping. That's why I've placed it at number 14. To run this OS, you'll need a minimum of 2 GB RAM. Lineage OS is an operating system for smartphones and tablets, but now it can also be used on PC. It's a successor to the popular Kyana Gen Mod project, which ended in 2016. You can call this operating system an upgraded version of Android x86, or you could also call it a modified version. This version includes several changes such as theme customization and the removal of minor bugs and crashing issues. As for system requirements, they're not particularly demanding. You can even use it on a PC with 1 GB of RAM. However, there won't be any options related to key mapping in this OS, so I've placed it at number 13. Many variants of this operating system are available in the market, and the developers constantly release new updates. So far, they've released more than 16 variants, and in among them, the light version of Bliss OS is considered the best for low-end PC. In fact, you can even use this version of Bliss OS on extremely low-end PC. While you may not be able to play high-end games like Free Fire or PUBG on this operating system, it's great for low-end If you're games. facing issues with any other emulator, I would recommend trying out this OS. When it comes to Android operating systems and Phoenix OS's name doesn't come up, that's just not possible. Phoenix OS is one of the most popular Android OS, with only two variants available in the market. One is based on Android 5, which is for 32-bit PC, and the other is based on Android 7, which is for 64-bit PC. To run this operating system, you need to have at least 2 GB of RAM and a dual-core processor as well. If you're a 1 GB RAM user, this OS won't work for you and you'll encounter lag. Guys at number 10, the operating system we have is not an Android OS, but rather a Chromium-based operating system called FIDE OS. FIDE OS, formerly known as Flint OS, is an open source operating system based on Google's Chromium OS project. In this operating system, you cannot directly run Android apps. Instead, you need to install the Android subsystem separately. Installing this operating system is also quite difficult, and its system requirements are also quite high. You need to have at least 4 GB of RAM and a 4-core processor to run this OS. Additionally, it comes with its own set of limitations and compatibility issues. If I ask you what your favorite Android OS is, many of you would probably say Prime OS. Because this OS comes with some features that you won't find in any other OS A, and that's why it's people's favorite. In fact, a separate laptop called Prime Book has also been launched for this operating system. Many versions of this operating system are available in the market, and you can install it on your PC without a USB. As for system requirements, you need to have 4 GB of RAM and an Intel HD graphics card to run it. Moreover, in this OS you'll find perfect key mapping for almost all games. Just a little while ago, I mentioned the light version of Bliss OS, which was based on Android 6 and could be used on PC with 1 GB of RAM. However, to run this version of Bliss OS, you need to have 4 GB of RAM, and since it's based on Android 12, you can easily run heavy games according to your PC capabilities. In terms of interface, this OS is quite good compared to other OS, but it lacks key mapping. By default, you won't find any software related to key mapping in this OS, but you can easily install any third-party software like Octopus Key Mapper from the Play Store. At the number 7 spot, there's an operating system called AppsterGo OS developed by Team AppsterGo. AppsterGo OS is essentially an upgraded version of Phoenix OS. In terms of key mapping, 
This operating system is quite superior to Prime OS as it provides next level and pre-configured key mapping. I tried playing Free Fire on this operating system, but it didn't run well because my PC only had 2 GB of RAM. If you have 4 GB of RAM, you'll be able to play Free Fire easily on this OS. Guys, at number 6, there's an operating system called Thunder OS. Not many people are familiar with this operating system, as it was created by a YouTuber. Thunder OS is also an upgraded version of Phoenix OS, but it has seen significant performance improvements, and its look has been completely changed as well. If you're tired of using emulators and none of them are working for you, I would recommend giving this OS a try. I used this operating system for two to three months and found its performance quite impressive. Moreover, since this operating system is based on Phoenix OS, you'll also get key mapping features. Guys, Remix OS is the only operating system I've been using for the past four years, and based on my experience, I can easily say that this operating system is 10 times better than Prime OS. Although this project was discontinued quite some time ago, you can still easily install this last version compared to other OS. Remix OS installation is super easy, and you can install it within just a few seconds. If you're a student looking for an OS for daily tasks, then this operating system is the best for you. In terms of system requirements, you can easily install this OS on a PC with 2 GB of RAM. Guys, when it comes to performance, the operating system I like the most after Remix OS is Asus OS. This operating system is a modified version of Phoenix OS, and it's much better than the original one. Asus OS is completely rooted, so you'll get maximum performance in almost all games. Although this operating system is based on Phoenix OS, you'll still need 4 GB of RAM to run it. It can be installed on 2 GB RAM, but you may experience some lag in certain games. At number 3, we have Prime OS Ghost. This operating system is an updated version of Prime OS specifically designed for slow computers. The main reason for placing it at number 3 is its performance, which is considerably better than the original Prime OS. You can easily use it on a PC with 2 GB of RAM. I've tried many games on this OS, and I've experienced maximum performance in almost all of them. Guys, at number 2, we have an operating system called Phoenix OS ROG. You must have heard about this operating system at some point, and many of you may have even tried it. After Remix OS and Prime OS, this is the only operating system that people like the most. Not only is it well optimized, but it also receives regular updates. There are many variants of this operating system available in the market, and it is compatible with both 32-bit and 64-bit PC. This operating system comes with premium key mapping, and you'll get Android 7 in it. Guys, you may or may not agree with me, as everyone has their own opinion, but in my opinion, the best operating system so far is Biometrics OS. This operating system is the only one that can run high-end games like Free Fire at 30 plus FPS. I have tried Free Fire on more than 10 operating systems, but none of them gave me more than 10 or 12 FPS. The main reason for such high FPS is gear lock which you will find installed in this OSA. Moreover, this OS is completely rooted, so you'll get FPs unlocked in almost all games. So friends, those were the top 14 Android OS that I've personally used, and some of them are still in use. Please let me know in the comments which one you like the most, or if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section or contact me on Instagram. You'll find the tutorials and download links for these OS in the description. Until next time, Goodbye.